the hot and techy brasa the city bird suv both punjab kings and sunrisers hyderabad have won two and lost two so far what can we expect from match number 23 as these two teams collide in punjab's new home at mulapur on maruti suzuki arena presents espn trick and four timeout we're in the company of tom moody mitchell mcclenaghan and wasim jafar to build ahead to that game Mitch, either side of you are two ex-coaches of both these teams, mm. so I will focus on them. I'll come to you <laughs> with Punjab's batting, Wasim, because in the last game, that victory over Gujarat Titans, it must have been a huge fillip for the entire camp, because mm. it's rare to see a chase of that magnitude pulled off by uncapped and largely unheralded batters. Yeah, that that must have been very pleasing, uh, especially Sashank uh, for for what he went through, uh, and then obviously Ashutosh as well. They they were ready to pay big bucks to him and and he's done well in the domestic uh, and he came in at a very tricky situation and bailed you know the team out uh, so i thought it was a very good win uh, came came out of nowhere actually i thought uh, probably punjab's going to lose that one uh, but that would have boosted their confidence uh, but uh, the big boys at the top uh, you know they need to do more work from here on Yeah, and it's an interesting uh, one. If you break down the numbers of Punjab's top seven batters so far this season, you can see that the domestic batters have done the bulk of the scoring. They have scored 420 plus runs, while the overseas batters, which includes the likes of Besto, Livingston, Raza, got a game, and Karan's obviously been batting high up for them. They are striking slower and also have far lesser returns. But will the game from will the last game give further confidence to the other batters as well? Absolutely, team success always rubs off on the individual, uh, and and that's the way it should work. Because you know, there's there are days that you get covered by your teammates if you have a bad day, but you still walk away with a win and you feel, uh, you know, strong and good about that. And then it's your turn maybe the next day to to step up and and cover for someone else. So there's a lot of experience in uh, in that top order, and it's just a case of of them. Uh, you know, getting into the contest is still relatively early in this tournament, and it's only you know that one, um, you know, good knock uh, away from you know supporting the domestic players. The, the real positive thing for Punjab is that you know they are you know they are finding a way to win games, even though at times it's been quite clunky. Um, but that's what it's all about. It's you're not always going to play your perfect game. Yeah, the other positive from the other night, although it wasn't a a high score. Um, significant in innings from Jatesh as yeah. well, um, 16 off eight. Um, it was impactful. It got them back into the game um, at a point where they're starting to creep behind the, the run rate required. And need, you need your internationals to stand up, right? Yeah. He's an Indian keeper, likely to go to the World Cup, and and you need him to be firing at the back end if you're going to win those games consistently. Yeah, and Jatesh presents a curious case. We've seen Punjab use him. In different batting positions in all four games, he's batted everywhere from four to seven, uh, but the entry points have been fairly similar. So while usually you look at different batting positions as with an element of unrest, is this a, more of a case of just sticking to an entry point and staying with it? I think most teams now don't stick to a batting order as such. Hmm. Uh, it's more about where is that player best suited to have an impact for us as a team. And you know clearly, Jatesh is seen as that uh, finisher. He's he's done it you know successfully last season. They see he's got the one the power uh, to be able to clear the fence, which is important in that role. But he's also got the the calmness to be able to navigate those challenging situations at times. Having worked with him closely, uh, Wasim uh, Jatesh, does this does this flow well with him? Is he a batter who will take the change well enough? I don't think he will. Uh, last season, uh, he used to come at around you know after the power play, eight, nine, ten overs. I think that's probably the best entry point for him because he can take on the spinners. He's he's a very good player of spin, and then whoever's bowling, uh, even the medium pacers, he'll probably take on and and get the team the momentum. Uh, this time around, they they're using him differently, and the two bounces probably has has affected him as well. He's got out to Mayank Yadav in Lucknow, so he need to sort that out if he. If he wants to play international cricket, obviously with the World Cup around, uh, but he's a good batter. There's no doubt about it. There's a quality in him, uh, but I think they need to stick with him uh, around that eight, nine, ten hours mark, where he can go in. I, I think he can go even before Liam Livingston, for that matter, because Livingston can uh, play that finisher's role which he did in the first game. Yeah. So they, if they 
stick with that consistency, I think that will augur well for, for Jitesh. Yeah, we expect Livingston to be out for a while with that hamstring injury, but hmm. you mean even in terms of Sikandar Raza, you would probably back Jitesh higher? I would probably do that, yes. All right. Well, let's shift our attention to Sunrisers Hyderabad, for whom the early pace setter has been Abhishek Sharma. He's off to an absolute flyer. And uh, if you look at the numbers, Tom, the balls per boundary, it just seems audacious. He's hitting a boundary one, less than once every three balls. And balls per six is what I want to focus on. He used to average 25 balls per six, and that's gone down to less than five. What do you put that turnaround down to? Uh, opportunity. Uh, security in his position in the side and coming into this season with domestic form behind him. Um, I think all those three key points are really important to, to, to Abhishek. He, he's also a natural, if you look at his bat swing, he's got a beautiful bat swing. So it's no surprise that he's hitting you know, long bombs because he's got, the, he's got the skill set to be able to do it. The other thing in his favour, he's going back home for this contest. So he'll be feeling good about the opportunity there. And what's, what places him in a different bracket altogether, Mitch, is that this six hitting, this frequency, has taken him to the likes of in the Russell and Klassen category, yeah. which is an incredible place to be for a young Indian batter. Isn't it? Just, just any, in the same sentence as those two players, Russell and Klassen, Abhishek Sharma, he, he sells tickets. He's, he's a blockbuster player. He's been incredibly exciting, and if Mahali's not sold out already, uh, it will be after this show, that's for sure. Well, I mean, he's, he's one of the better uh, striker of the ball you've seen. I mean, he doesn't look like he's making an effort. I mean, with Russell and all that, you could feel that they're muscling the ball. Uh, but Abhishek is such a clean striker of the ball, especially against spinner. I haven't seen anybody play spin so easily and, and hitting them over the ropes, some quality bowlers. And that's a good thing. And, and the security, which, which Tom says, is, is a very important thing. After the first game, if they dropped Mayang, they could have easily dropped Abhishek as well. And that would have, you know, put doubts in his mind. Uh, so that security, I think, you know, makes a lot of difference. And I think it could be a bumper season uh, for him and probably a breakthrough season for him. Okay. Predictions time. Tom, you first. I think the visitors are going to win tomorrow. Hold on, Mitch. Let's go to Wasim first. <laughs> I'll probably give it to SRH as well. I Ooh, think they're playing oh well. Yeah. I was hoping three, you'd get yeah, a chance no. to play the tiebreaker. I think it's uh, three orange lights. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the orange of Hyderabad. Because yeah. Punjab have also tweaked to an orange's oh, orange no, jersey this time. It's definitely Hyderabad. Hyderabad. Okay. It's all Hyderabad from the panel. What do you expect from Punjab versus Hyderabad? Be sure to catch the build-up with us just before toss time on Tuesday evening on Maruti Suzuki Arena. Presents ESPN Cricket Pro Timeout. All new hot and techy breath up, the city bird SUV.